Welcome to the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C demo series. In this demonstration, I will show you how to clone a middleware environment. Once you are logged in to Enterprise Manager Cloud Control as a designer and have navigated to the Middleware Provisioning screen, under Middleware Provisioning Deployment Procedures, click Provision Middleware and then click Launch. There are two ways to clone, from a provisioning profile in the software library or from a middleware home directory. I have previously saved a WebLogic domain provisioning profile in the library based on my gold image domain, so that is what I want. To select which provisioning profile, click the magnifying glass. In the pop-up window, select the provisioning profile you wish to use and click Select. Now that the source is set, click the Next button. Click the plus to add hosts. In the pop-up, select the target host desired and click the Select button. Credentials for the host must be set. We have created preferred credentials for the host and will use those. Next, the destination location on the target must be set. We are creating a new middleware home. Once everything is set, click Next. On the Configuration page, on the left-hand side, you can see a hierarchy of Domain Configuration Categories. The Domain Properties category is selected by default. Here you enter the Domain Name, Domain Administrator Username, the Password, twice, an optional description, a unique domain identifier, and the domain location. Some of these fields have default values which you may override. You may select other categories of the domain configuration to make changes there. In this demo, I have decided to change the port of the administration server. So I click it in the hierarchy and make the change. I also want to change the port of the Manage server. So I click Servers and make the changes I want on that configuration page. Finally, I've decided to change the server startup mode. I do not want the servers to start until I start them manually. Once all the changes to the configuration have been input, click Next. Now schedule the job. Give it the name desired in the Deployment Instance field. Pick when the job should run. I want it scheduled immediately. Under Notification, choose the type of notification you wish. I choose to be notified if the job has succeeded or has problems. You may also, under Analyze mode, decide to pause before running the job once the prerequisite checks have been made. I do not want to do that. Once everything is set the way you want it, Click Next. Review the middleware provisioning job. You can see the source, the destination, and the domain configuration information. 
If it all looks correct, click Submit. On the Procedure Activity tab of the Deployment Procedure Manager screen, you can select how often to automatically update the screen from the View Data drop-down list, or you may manually refresh by clicking the Refresh button. You may also click the name of the deployment procedure to see the details of it. Well, that's how to clone a middleware environment through Enterprise Manager Cloud Control. Thanks for watching this demonstration.